Today we will show you, how to import, and analyze, national and international statistics, from World Bank Group, using their Python API. First you have to install, World Bank Group, API package in Python. Now you can import, and use, World Bank API, in your Python code. We will also import, Pandas library, to draw charts, from World Bank API data. We need indicator code, and country code, to import the data, into Python, using API. We can search for indicator codes, using search command. Let's search a code, for population statistics. Sometimes, the search word is too common, and returns a lot of results, due to which, Query takes a lot of time. We can stop the query, and modify our search term, to narrow our search results. Let's try again, using our modified search term. This is much better, now we have fewer results, to choose from. Let's select United States, as our target country. Let's comment out, the search codes for now, using hash sign. Let's define a variable, population, for population data. Let's print the population data, and see the results. The imported data is, one row, and 62 columns. We require all values, in a single column. Therefore, we will transpose, the data frame. As you can see, the data frame, is now transposed. Let's fill this data frame, into a pandas data frame, for visualization. Let's print data from Panda's data frame, for verification. Let's draw a line chart, 
of population of United States, using pandas. We have now, successfully imported, data from World Bank, into our Python code, and displayed the same on a chart, using World Bank API, and Pandas. Let's draw another line, in the same chart, using GDP data imported from World Bank, using same API. Because of the same axis, data of population and GDP cannot be compared. Let's shift the GDP data, to a secondary y-axis, for better comparison, and analysis. Since our chart now contains, both population, and GDP data, let's rename, the title of our chart accordingly. 